Hi everyone, Dee's from Turtle Dove. How's everyone doing? It is a very cold and windy and rainy day here in South Australia today. So I wanted to go out to the shops early this morning before the weather turned bad and within half an hour of arriving home the weather turned bad so it turned out good. <laughs> And plus, I like to get out early. But anyway, I have a haul for you today. It's a bit of a mishmash, but mostly Kmart, which is where I went this morning. It is mid-July. When you see this video, it will be probably, yeah, maybe at least a week later. Um, but as you know, some of you may know, if you follow me uh, from August, September and October, from August to October, I will not be spending money on crafting, um, unless of course it's tape, glue, um, you know, just things that I run off, run out of. But anyway, so I have this mishmash of a haul and I will start just with the little bits and pieces um, and then I'll finish off with the Kmart haul. So I just this isn't anything to do with crafting, um, but I went to the chemist warehouse and I realised I love glitter and I usually put the silver glitter on, but I run out of gold. So I bought myself another gold bottle of nail polish. This one was W7, it was five dollars, and then another time I went. To the chemist warehouse I bought the extreme wear Sally Hansen and this is called glitter glam and that's what I've got on at the moment I've got two coats I don't know if you can see that but it sort of reminds me of opal um, it's got little long sheets very very fine in there but it looks really pretty so I got that and I think that was about six dollars you know what I bought myself a kitchen timer to time myself every time I record and I keep forgetting to put it on I'm going to put it on now because I can ramble on a bit and I'm trying to keep my video is a bit shorter but it's really hard for me so <laughs> okay the next thing I the last time I did a spotlight haul this had been sitting in my handbag and I forgot to haul it so I have been looking for I'm getting back into cross stitching and I just love collecting different threads embroidery threads so I've been looking for multicolored ombre type threads and there's a couple that I might try and get before the end of this month. Otherwise I've got to wait until November. Because <laughs> I really want to not buy anything for three months. But yeah, I came across this as Spotlight. It's green with gold. It's beautiful. I don't know if you can see the green in that. But I love using that behind flower embellishments and things like that. Um, as well as embroidery so yeah I did actually I was naughty last night and I went on to shine or shame and made a purchase and that hopefully will be coming on the 29th of July so I will have to haul that in August but just letting you know heads up I bought it mid July <laughs> so this is just from Woolworths, the grocery store. Um, some of you may have seen my wall hanging pocket diamond painting uh, that I got from a company and I have finished it. I will be doing a video on that um, soon and I want to hang it on the wall. It's not as long as I thought it was. But it's still got three pockets in there and so I can only just put light things in there. So I bought this Command No Nails um, so I can hang it from that in a little corner in the wall here. Uh, 
in the room here. So got that. that. They're quite expensive. This one I think was about eight dollars. So the one that I wanted without this deal, um, they were out of them, unfortunately. But okay, now this is from Ned's Emporium. Oops. There's a Ned's Emporium near where my mother lives. So I just had a quick look to see what they've got as far as jammies and things. So I found these crystal round flat back stickers and they're quite textured and this is in a sort of a, a pretty pink, almost orange but not quite. So I bought a packet of those. And they were three dollars. I think these were two dollars fifty each, and these ones are three dollars. And look at this mermaid stickers in the green. You can see the gold shining through that. Beautiful finish to it. So I had to get those. And then this is for my bee journal. I'm trying to. That's why I made the shine per purchase. Um, trying to get things for my bee journal but I yeah, can't get a lot but I think I've got enough and I've just got to use my imagination and make some things myself so I've got these pretty resin flowers in the off white and the yellow so that is it now I'll just go through all the, thing, the items I bought today from Kmart not all craft now, isn't it funny, when you're making a, you're working on a theme, craft-wise, that suddenly you see things everywhere. So, I want to make a lemon journal, and I'm seeing lemons <laughs> in everything but craft items. But, uh, this is a litre water bottle, drink bottle, um... You can, I do have the two litre, but I find that really difficult to drink that much, even in the summertime of day. So I thought if I fill this up every day, um, that is a bit more of a realistic goal for me, I think. And this is BPA free. This was $5. So that's a new item in Kmart at the stores. Last night, uh, just before going to bed, I just went on their website so that I can do all the walking online and then just go into the store, get in there and get out again. So I've got that. Actually, I'll put that, I'll put it down because I'll be showing you something large in a bit. these these were six dollars so there's 18 ribbons but there's only a meter to each of the rolls and I've just realized looking at it now there's no green and there's no orange <laughs> but that's okay I like the pinks and this is I think between a hot pink and a red and then there's the cherry red there and I like the teals as well and the blue so I got that I can always do with ribbon these were on sale for a dollar each these yarn tassels so I think I bought some of this before um, And I thought that would be a nice fall colour, autumn colour we say in Australia, autumn. I like the word fall much better. So for a dollar, that's eight of them. And yeah, just save me some time if I want to just get something done quickly. And this is in the greys, whites, peppermint or mint green and then a more of a I don't know, a grey green there. It's a pretty green. But they look nice together too. So I got those. That's good for a dollar each. Now 
I bought two of these. These are the Herbs Oven Gloves. They have a range in this style. So I got one for a gift for a birthday in the future and then I got one for myself. They were $1.50 each. I got the tea towels to match. I think they were $1.50 each as well. Isn't it cute though? I've got the pots. This pot with some chives. It says garden, chives, parsley. There's some little cutters, gloves, a rake, a little fork. So cute. So I've got two of those again. And they were out of the pot holders. They're just little round pot holders. And so I'm going to have to go back so that um, I can get the set. And they also, I forgot to look at the mugs. Um, yeah, hubby, poor hubby, he drove me down and waited in the car for me because he wasn't feeling that well. So I just went in and I didn't sort of take my time as I normally do. But I think, yeah, if I can get the mug and hopefully later on they'll get in the little pot holders, that'll make a nice set as part of a gift and then I'll have the set for myself. So I've got these canisters. Now they were four dollars each. This one's glass. Um, I was going to my intention. My intentions were to get a stoneware type canister in the same size, but the lids would just come off really easily, and I don't want that happening because some people don't. When they pick the canisters up, they just hold the lid, and then if it falls. It's actually doing it now a little bit. You might break the bottom part. So anyway, that's just for my tea bags and coffee. Just next to the stove. I have to go for something small because I don't have a lot of room. But they have pretty eucalyptus leaves. And the golden wattle design on there. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. So I've got two of those. I thought I'd put those away right away from me so that I don't break. And to go with the lemon theme, I bought myself a insulated lunch box. So once a week my sister and I see my mum and we're taking it in turns at each other's house now. Um, so we bring our own lunch. So that goes really well with the drink bowl, I thought. And it does look pretty. And it's nice and sturdy. And this was $12. It's got a nice handle. Um, I saw these online last night. Uh, pressed flower stickers. And you get six sheets. And that's not bad for three dollars. Pretty pink ones. So all different flowers, and just some petals, some buds. And then I thought I could do with different leaves as well. And they would be really good for card making and keep things flat. So these are Presser Leaf Stickers, again the six sheets for three dollars. And lastly, now this is what I went to Kmart for. I am trying to organise my craft room and to do that I need a bit more storage um, boxes. So I bought another two. I bought two of the same couple of weeks back and then four small ones. I didn't have the small ones. But I bought an extra two and they came with the lids. I was cheeky and grabbed an extra lid because last time I bought one I forgot the lid. So even though it says do, do not forget my lid down the bottom, I did. <laughs> so that was nice, she let me take that. I did let her know. I said I've actually got three there because last time I yeah forgot the lid, silly me. But yeah, they are really 
handy to have and they fit quite a lot in there so I can stack them up as well so now yeah that's why I wanted to make the video and that way I can start cleaning in here as well and now I've got my little command nails no nails I can put the wall hanging up as well and fill that up so I'll just give you the size of this these were seven dollars each now I'll do it in inches because most of you go by inches most of my viewers are from the US so 12 inches long by I've got a eight and a half height and then the depth is about ten so they're a good size so that's what I'll be doing next I will be organizing and yeah there's a lot of stuff for me to organize it's just getting to the stage where now and then I'll clean little corners up but I really need to start sorting things out and getting rid of some things that I don't use which is hard because you know you want to keep a lot of things because one day you well I do I usually end up grabbing things eventually and yeah they're hard to replace too so anyway there is some things that I can sort through still thank you so much everyone for watching take care and we'll see you next time bye for now